money. I got niggas who don't love me. But that bitch is when I fuck me. Get money, yeah, get money. Get money, get money. Fully loaded podcast. You already know who we are. Boost Mel. What's up, Boost? What's going on, bro? My brother. What's going on? What's up, man? <laughs> What's new with you, man? man? You know, you just been grinding. Mm-hmm. You know? I like that no face puff. Thank you, my brother. My yes. mother got me this. Yeah, yeah, I like that chicken room sweater. I mean, shout out to chicken room. Shout out to shout chicken out, room. I mean, know? the best studio in Boston. Yes, sir. If you need any, if you need an engineer, just hit up my guy Van Gogh. I'm talking about yes, sir. And if you're trying to start up a podcast and be like us one day, you know, yeah, I mean, one of the best room. places to go I mean, is the chicken room. It's funny that you actually commented on my hoodie because mm-hmm. sad story, bro. The creator, the one, the the person who envisioned, like, well, obviously Van Gogh envisioned this mm-hmm. shit, but like the person who like Designed. was able to yeah design it and make it come to life, like recently, just like he he been going through mad mental mental health issues. Like it always seems like. The most creative people mm-hmm. go through the worst shit. Mm-hmm. Like even people saying like, "Oh, Kanye, he bipolar." Yeah, like he's going crazy. He's like, going I, through shit. I said this shit earlier. It's like, yo, name a genius that's not crazy. Yeah, and people would never assume, assume. that people like people would never think that like a lot of creatives or a lot of like people that are artsy, artistic or, or artsy yeah. like they get they get a lot of that passion, a lot of that pain from just doing creative shit. Like if they weren't doing that, they'd probably it's like, like their relief. It's yeah, their they, relief. they probably. Wouldn't want to be alive anymore or some yeah. shit. You never know, bro. Yeah, but, for sure. It's therapeutic to them. Yeah, it's dude. therapeutic. Mental health, bro. Mm-hmm. Mental health, especially in the black community. Black black people are very creative, naturally. Yeah. And so, and you know what we went through. Like, yeah, our ancestors yeah. went hell through. Hell yeah. Even what we're going through today, bro. Hell like, yeah. There's no other way. That's why a lot of people, black people do artsy shit. Like, yeah. a lot of... It's rap- a way to ex- express themselves. Yeah, and, black and, people and, are into music. Mm-hmm. Fashion, like just Way to express very, yourself very, and, and let go of everything that you're going through, and kind of like put it into your art, your your work. Yeah, so I, I'm just wondering, bro, like why 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 can't black people be? It feels like black people have mental, mm-hmm. like a lot of mental health issues, but they mm-hmm. they can't be vulnerable. Like we can't. Mm-hmm. Why can't we be vulnerable, bro? What, what's your what's your take on that? I mean, that's that's actually a great uh, point, Boost. Because no bullshit. Me personally, I've dealt with shit like you know where I, sometimes I'm not feeling myself. And yeah, and I you were you were right. Jai used to be a rapper. Yeah. Streets, yeah, streets. Ain't no love, ain't no love. You ain't my dog, you ain't my dog. You not my blood, not my. Uh, yeah, I, I used to be a rapper. I'll still rap circles around a lot of these niggas, but I used to, <laughs> I used to, I used to be rapping and, and and even besides the rap, just in general with life, I feel like what you're saying, like our community is is crazy because it's like as a man. What we can't be weak, we can't look at soft. Yeah, we can't yeah, we at... always. Nah, that's a fact. Like, why Whenever, is that shit? That shit I remember, is... I remember, I had a, um, I dealt with a girl before, and she was like, "Yo, like if a nigga like start talking about his feelings, like mm-hmm. he a bitch." I'm like, "Bro, that's that shit crazy. crazy, you know?" That's like, crazy to say. Yeah, son. Like, so then I'm like, I'm like "No, we're no, human. I'm like, talk, yeah, I'm we gonna get human. cold then." Nigga. Like, yeah. Then I started. I used to be. I was a cold ass person, mm-hmm. but. Now like I go to therapy and she's like I'm mm-hmm. I'm I'm being better. You know but what I'm that, that's about? big. That's even bigger what you saying. You going to therapy because a lot of niggas like it takes a while for them to even think they need therapy. A lot of yeah. them, they, they think in their mind therapy is a bad thing. Yeah, but it's really not. It's like because a lot of the shit we going through, I go through a lot of shit because like you said, we feel like we got to be strong. So most of us are the strong people in our families. Are most strong in our with a strong friend. Yeah, but even a strong friend. Sometimes it's always the people that you never expect that you that's never going, expect that are that's going, going through, through the, the shit. worst shit. That's like the really shit. Yeah, bro. Like the, they say, the quietest person in the room is the most dangerous, that's bro. A fact. Like, even like that's why I always think about people who are like into arts and music and shit. Mm-hmm. Like I always like even um, directors. Like if they make like scary, why, why is this person always making a scary movie? What's, what's good with this? Yeah, person? Yeah, like Stephen King. Yeah, like this person probably going through some yeah. evil shit, or his 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 um, childhood must have been fucked up. Traumas, or some shit. traumas. And I, and I honestly think, like like you said, going back to what you're saying, is it's like, yo, at the end of the day, like, we don't feel like, I feel like men don't feel like they can be vulnerable with yeah. people, or even in this world, especially black men. We we can't even, I don't even feel like I can have time to be upset, like, yeah, without, we'll you know what I mean? We upset, what, what's now? Oh, this, this nigga's always upset. Yeah, this I'm nigga's here. a I'm problem. Yeah. As a black man, I don't even think I can get upset. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, we, yeah. we have to know how to. Um, it's a lot, of, to, shaming. A lot of shaming. Women love to shame. I, I, I'm not, I, I love and, women. And women, but women, a lot of women, women like, but women too. Women, women be mad. 
because uh, I feel like a lot of women don't feel like they can be emotionally. They don't feel like they can be emotionally vulnerable yeah, in this world neither. Yeah. That's why a lot of them have that attitude. I don't need a that's nigga true. fucking. Yeah, that's true. It's kind of, it's kind of like it goes both, bump, bumping heads. It's, it's both ways, and it's really yeah. it's fucking up a lot of shit. It's fucking up relationships. Fuck relationships it's fucking up, up homes. What do you think that stems from, bro? Nigga, that goes all the way back. That goes all the way back to racist. I mean, to slavery. That that's just, just systematically they set it up so that the the the, the mother. The w- black woman is is independent from the black man. That's exactly how yep. they set it up. So Even the crack era. Exactly. And then when the crack they, era they hit, they got the black jail. man out of the house. Put crack in the, in the city and then they got them, get them niggas get them out, out of the house. And yeah. th- and that There's no other way to make money. But passed, yeah. It just passed on generation to generation to generation. And, and honestly, that shit got to stop. It's okay for, uh, you know, black men to be... If, if you see a young black boy and he's sad, or he, it's okay to be sad. It's okay to cry. Like, one of the biggest misconceptions is, oh, uh, you know, don't, you know, what well, we was taught, nigga. Don't, why you crying? You don't cry. You a boy, you a man. You don't cry. Yeah, facts. What fuck you mean facts. I'm a man? I don't cry, nigga. Yeah. When you cry and you letting it out. You yeah. let it out. It's not saying you can't cry, let it out. And then mm-hmm. you talk to him like, okay, you let it out now. Now, what's bothering you? I'm not going to lie, though. Talk jo- about I'm, it. Yo, Jai, so hold on. Talk so about I was it. actually talking to um, my girl about this. Mm-hmm. So I was like, yo. If I see my son cry, like, if he cries a lot, I'm going to look at him weird. Weird, yeah. I'm like, yo, why are you crying? So, like, I get it. I get, like, you could cry. You should be able to cry. Mm-hmm. You should be able to let your feelings out. Mm-hmm. But if you cry too much, you ain't ready for the world, And, and that's, that's a fact. And that's, that's, the, that's So that's not the line I'm talking. I'm, I feel what you're saying. Because I don't want my son crying every fucking time something happens. You can come crying. Yeah. Nah, nah. Fuck that. You ain't no punk. And you, But you're not a punk for crying. At the same time, you got to... We don't... I don't feel like our parents... Not our parents, but... A lot of the parents that raised our generation of kids gave us that room to be uh, expressive of how mm-hmm. we feel. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you don't, we're not intact with our emotion in that side of our emotions. But we could easily somebody hit you with your parent tell you, nigga, don't come back here tell me you got beat up because I'm gonna beat your ass and then you gotta come back and be his ass. You yeah, know, I'm gonna send yeah, you right yeah, back yeah, out. Yeah, for sure. You get what I'm saying? So That's I, true. I feel like. Um, it's just how a lot of them was raised. A lot, a lot of us was raised in in our community. It shames a black man being expressive, or even a black woman. Black being woman expressive. too. Black woman like when a black woman's expressive, scared, what, what do niggas say to them? Damn, you always bitching. Yeah, Why are you always bitching? And yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm being honest. I've, I've been, uh, had that. I had that mindset How'd you get better? before. How I got better is I looked at it like, okay, so when I had a shorty, I'm single now. But when I had a shorty, I'm like, yo, I can't say why she always bitching. Let me look at why she's always bitching. Let me look at what's what's the reason of 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 you know what it was of what, the bitching. What's the reason of the bitching? And on top of it, right? She say she takes that. She's like, all right, damn, this nigga say I'm always bitching. I don't want to talk to this nigga. Now she's yeah. not telling me anything. Now I can't yeah, get yeah. Then she in that deep intellect. With you. And I'm wondering why not? Why not, Mel's? Because you cut her off. That emotional level, you cut it off. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So that emotional level, we can't cut it off on any way. And if you got a brother who's going through something, you got a family member that's going through something, you got homies that are going through something. Check in on your people, Check man. in on them, my nigga. And it don't make you soft for saying how you feel. It's time to load the clip, nigga. ta 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 Hey, so. Yo, man. So you're talking about, um, like, time. People, mm-hmm. time, does, time is Time is the essence. No bullshit. Time, yes. So it's time to load the clip on people those motherfuckers that think that your time is not an asset, like it, it's theirs. Yeah, your time, like my, your time is obli- like obligated to them. Yeah, that's very, that. nah. that's very, that's very, that's very self absorbed. It's to slow. Think, it's nigga. looking very slow for them. I, I, I think you should load the clip on this. I, 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 I love to load the clip on this. I feel like, yo, bro, the, in these days, yo, first of all, time is something we can't get back. It can't we all, get back. we all know that, and and time is something that you can't stop. It don't stop away for nobody. At the right. end of the day, we can't be at a million places at once. No. But we also at a time in our lives where what we 26, 27. Yeah. We we have to. I'm 27 now. Yo, 2021's o- over, bro. 2021's over. Like, look at 2021's over already. You feel what I'm saying? Like, there's a new COVID. There's a new new strand of COVID. Time, time. Yo, fuck COVID. Yo, time. Yo, matter of fact, hold on. Let's get into COVID too, bro. Right. Fuck that Omicron Let's shit, son. COVID. Yo, that's just making us stay Yo, inside. That's, that's fucking our mental health too. First of all. all right, but fuck. anyways. Which one are we going to? COVID or time? Both of them, but yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go. Time. My all bad. Right. I got sidetracked. <laughs> all right, time. Back to time real quick. No, no bullshit. People think that your time's obligated to them. That's fucked. Because at the end of the day, you can only be focused. You can't be successful if your mind's everywhere. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you might have a relationship. You might have a friend. You might have a job yeah. who plays with our time. Yeah. I have a regular job on the, on the side of this. Mm-hmm. Like we all do. Yeah. I be at work like, fuck, nigga. Y'all want me to give you 40 hours of my week every week. Yeah. And, 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 and you think I'm supposed to be giving you my all, mm-hmm. busting my ass. 
for the same pay when I could be putting it to, to something that is going to be getting me better, like generational wealth. Yeah, something for your actual Something for my future. Jobs don't give a fuck Jobs about don't you, give bro. a fuck. It's all about and the money. And that's time. And then with family. And, 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 and it's fucked up because like we got to find time for our job. We got to yeah. find time for our lovers. Yeah. We got to find time for our, 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 our mothers. We got to find time for, for everything. Yes. Everything. Yeah, yeah that's So time is, is not obligated to anybody but ourselves. It's not. We got to... We, we figure I, out we want to spend our time. Honestly, our time is obligated to... Your purpose, mm-hmm. bro. Like, what's your purpose in mm-hmm. life? That's why... This is why I really fuck with my girl, right? Mm-hmm. So, so she... She's not on my ass. Well, of course, she always wants, like, me time and shit. Yeah. She wants and me she time. Wants she wants... Time. Yeah, one-on-one time. But, bro, if I'm, if I'm doing something... If I'm doing something that's... Like, you know me. I'm always... I got my hands in a lot, yeah, of, yeah, yeah. A lot of shit. But, like... So I'm a busy person, but so if I'm doing something, she's not on my ass. Like, of course she's checking on me. Because you're but, invested in something. But she's not like, yo, why are you always over there? Like, why are you always on that shit? Like, yeah. I've dealt, I've dealt with people like that before. Me too. They had to get out my life because that's I'm I'm headed towards a purpose. Like, mm-hmm. my purpose in life is not is not just to mm-hmm. sit on my ass. Mm-hmm. And your purpose is much greater. Yeah. Like, what? How do you look? Like. Being a bum, bro. Like, At the end of the day, it's, it's, it's real, though. What you do with your time will show in the long run. Yeah. It will show. And yeah. even if it's a short run, because we don't know when our day comes. Mm-hmm. So what you leave behind is what you did with your time. The legacy. Let that, let that sit with these niggas. Time's limited, but your it, legacy's forever. It's forever. It, it, that's, that's just going to stay with you on, forever. Bro. Like so, That's why I'm... You got to be focused on your purpose, what, what God ordained That's the point I wanted to get back to, purpose. You made a perfect point. Your time, what you do with your time, develops your purpose. It is your purpose. Yeah. And some people don't know their fucking purpose. That's why they have all the time in the fucking world. And that's true. And I say that to a girl. I said, that's true. you want to be with a broke nigga? Do you got to babysit? Or do you want to be with a nigga who is actually out here trying to make something happen for us both? Yeah. Well, we could, when you get the, and it's sad, money is not everything, yeah. but money is everything. Because with money, you buy the financial freedom yeah. that you can have. Yeah. So now with your time, time you can spend with the people you love you can spend yeah. doing the shit you want to do you got yeah. what i'm saying no, but until fact. then yeah. we got to spend our time right because yeah. the time is the most expensive currency nigga. The time is the most important thing it bro. definitely like, is it's, it's, it's like you, you say crypto is the new currency. Crypto's new currency time's the fucking currency yeah. still Crypto, always gonna be the time's always more you've seen the movie money. uh not to get off track but you've seen the movie time right with uh justin timberlake I and it was like and it, oh yeah, yeah, yeah a certain amount of time left and niggas were stealing niggas time imagine if we lived in a time where your time was actually counted and you had as many years as you have on this earth left yeah imagine how you spend imagine how you spend your time if you could See how much time you had left, bro. Imagine like you like you have to go to like fucking uh, a, a, a market place yeah. or some shit, and, and you, like and you, and you, and you have to use your time. time if you knew how much shit. time you had, how the fuck would you spend your time? And bro, that's why it's very important for people to find out what their purpose in life is. Yeah, like, you, you, you try things like mm-hmm. you might not. You might not be a good rapper, but fuck it. Get in the booth, nigga. That might be your purpose. And I don't look, know. I was a, like, I feel like I was a good rapper. I was on the radio, but guess what? That wasn't my only purpose. That's not his purpose. It's not my biggest oh, yeah, purpose. Yeah, not his biggest purpose. Like, try things. You you never know. You never like, know you what's going to hit. Get into, I don't know, fucking working out or some shit. Or, like, or playing video games or some shit. Learn how to make, fix shit. Make a YouTube Learn or some shit. Learn how to fix shit. Be a plumber. Make, be, yeah, a be a fucking plumber. A painter. Be a business owner. You you might have a whole different calling than what Get you think you're calling. Get into sewing. Like, you, you never really know what, you, what, what you're good at until you try you, it. Yeah, and you, like, that's a fact. No one comes out the womb thinking, oh, yeah, I know my purpose. Yeah. I'm going to be a fucking uh, a, a, a stockbroker or some shit. I'm going to be a fucking neuroscientist. Yeah, no, dog. No, no, no. Like, no, bro. You, you never know until you actually try. Like, and that sounds lot, cliche, and it's but, it's, too, it sounds cliche go, but it's the truth. Yo, a lot of people go to college going to, to the wrong major, mm-hmm. getting into debt with the wrong major mm-hmm. because of their parents. Drop out years and later. That's not really their purpose. Oh, all that money. However, I would rather that than you just sit on your ass. I wouldn't, but, and, and, and honestly, I, 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 honestly, but I'd I rather, I'd rather you follow your fucking purpose, yeah. even if you're not making the money you wanted to make doing something else, because yeah. you're happy. Yeah. Happiness, at the end of the day, is the most boring thing, but obviously, like, I, legacy is very important, too. Legacy so, like, is important. You have to leave something when you leave this earth. But I don't think, and um, this might sound crazy, but for me, I'm not saying money ain't, like, for me, legacy is, I think also legacy is also the foundation you build. So, like, even if y'all don't have money, do you have a loving home? Are you continuing to love at home? Do, mm-hmm. do the people you have in your family feel love? Do they feel love? Are your kids loved? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, is it yeah, a healthy yeah. environment in that house? Yeah. So that when you're gone, they're still continuing to pass down those healthy traits. It's not like a, a house of trauma because mm-hmm. trauma does pass down generations. Oh, for a fact. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so it's in DNA. That also could be it because, you know what I mean? It's not only about, not everybody's going to be making six to eight figures a year. Not, everybody's not going to get there yeah. one day. But 
at the end of the day, find your purpose. Whatever your purpose is in life, do what you need to do to make sure you're happy. That's why this mental health shit serious. Yeah. And that helps you with mental health. Yeah. Purpose, knowing your purpose. Knowing like, what doing, you love to do. Doing creative doing. work. That, that might, that could mm-hmm. possibly, that's therapeutic, like you said earlier. Very therapeutic. That'll, that'll, that'll help you with your purpose. Mm-hmm. You never know what you do. Like, that's a fact. Yeah. That's another thing. So, yeah. So we're going to load the clip on that time shit. Yeah, load the clip on niggas that think that your time's obligated to them. Go find not... your purpose. You probably, you you think your time's obligated because you had no purpose. <laughs> Do something. You fucking bum. Bum. Now let's cheers to that. Cheers.